Hey guys, today we're gonna give you a brief history of hacking. So, let's get started. You've heard of computer hackers, but do you know the history of hacking? First of all, what is hacking? Or the definition of hacking? Hacking is any activity that aims to exploit and illegally access a computer system, device, or network, without explicit permission from its owner. Causing harm is sometimes only a side product of hacking, not a necessary element. There are gray and white hat hackers who force their way into systems for positive or morally gray motivations. Some hackers even do it as a joke or to prove their technical abilities to their peers. How did hacking start? The first incident of illegally manipulating a technical system was in 1878. A group of teenage boys, hired by the communications company, Bell Telephone, would abruptly disconnect and misdirect calls to mess around. However, this incident is rarely mentioned as the first hacking incident. What's thought to be the first use of the word hacking to access a system happened in 1959 illegally. Members of the Tech Model Railroad Club used the word hack to mean cutting into a circuit and controlling the lanes and switches. Then later, in 1969, a group of tech and model train enthusiasts at MIT challenged themselves to hack into the system of a railroad company to improve its efficiency. While illegal, the MIT incident, wasn't harmful or malicious. The first hack, as we recognize the word today, happened in 1971. Some individuals discovered that if they make a high-pitched whistling noise at 2,600 Hz, they could access AT&T's long-distance switching system. This allowed them to make national and international phone calls free of charge. The first internet hacker. One of the first internet hackers, and certainly the first to gain mainstream media attention, was Robert Morris in 1989. His was the first denial-of-service attack in history and it was caused by a worm Morris had developed at Cornell University the year before. According to Morris, he didn't intend to cause any harm, but rather to highlight security flaws. But unfortunately, due to a fault in the code, the worm replicated excessively, causing extensive damage that lasted for days. So, what was the biggest hack in history? Data breaches and hacks happen every day. These occurrences are so mainstream now, that it takes something pretty huge to make headlines. Data breaches and hacks happen every day. These occurrences are so mainstream now, that it takes something pretty huge to make headlines. Number 1 is the Yahoo hack of 2016. Yahoo's epic data breach happened back in 2013, although Yahoo didn't admit the extent of the problem until 2016. The names, dates of birth, email addresses, passwords, and security questions and answers of all 3 billion users were compromised. This included users of Tumblr and Flickr. Number 2 is Marriott. In November 2018, Marriott International announced that someone had gained unauthorized access to its guest reservation systems, meaning that 500 million guests could have had their accounts hacked. These accounts had incredibly sensitive data, such as names, passport numbers and credit card details. And as if this wasn't bad enough, the breach wasn't discovered for nearly 5 years, meaning whoever had unauthorized access remained in the system for a very long time. Number 3 is MyFitnessPal. At the beginning of 2018, the usernames, email addresses, IP addresses and encrypted passwords of around 150 million customers were stolen from the popular fitness app. The stolen data was then put up for sale a year later. MyFitnessPal acknowledged the breach and told customers to change their passwords, but they didn't share how many accounts were affected, nor did the company give any details on how the attackers gained access to the data. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.